So we spoke to Ali Oliver a minute ago, and now, still in the dining room, I think it's about time we spoke to a couple of people who are on the programme. Oh, we got Gwyn over there. Hiya, Gwyn. How you doing? Hi. All right. Gwyn, former Olympic rower. Uh, she's one of the uh, the facilitators and coordinators on this program, helping uh, helping develop uh, and deliver the program. So who have we got here? Ian. Uh, Ian, and what do you do, Ian? Uh, judo coaching. Okay. Some visual impaired boys. Okay, you've got a couple of boys here today, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Who's this on my left? That's Big Jack. <laughs> big Jack, how's it going? How big is he? There we go. Amazing. He's a big boy. And who have we got on my right here? Yeah, i JP. JP, how you doing, mate? Not bad, mate. Yourself? Uh, I'm good, thank you very much. Uh, what do you do, JP? Hey, I'm the Head of Strength and Conditioning at Tedworth House Personal Recovery Centre for Windy Injured and Sick Service yeah. Personnel. Cool, so we've got a military boy here working with a lot of the guys down at Headley Court, now based down in, in Tidworth. <laughs> guys, I just want to um, get your impression, really, and uh, this is the first time you've been in a dining hall like this, right? Uh, what do you reckon? Impressive. Your choice, that's for sure. You're not going to go hungry. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Obviously, coming from a military background, you've probably seen dirty great mess halls not dissimilar to this, right? Very similar. In fact, I was just chatting to a couple of our guys. This is very reminiscent of a mess hall in Camp Bassin in Afghanistan. Yeah. It feels the exact same. Not as big, uh, but certainly feels the same, that's for sure. Nice. And Jack, uh, what do you reckon? Yeah, it's not too shabby. Was it, uh, how does it compare to what you thought it was going to be? Say? How does it compare to what you thought? Did you have any kind of preconceptions of how big it was going to be? I mean, I knew it was pretty massive, but yeah, it's still, it's still pretty good when you come here. So much choice. I didn't expect all the choice. Yeah, yeah, a lot of international food, yeah? Yeah. And um, how are you finding the programme so far? Are you enjoying it? Yeah, the programme is fantastic, really. It's best bits? Say? Have you got a best bit? Best bit? Coming here today. Yeah? Tea in the village. Fantastic. Amazing. Finally, Ian, your thoughts on uh, on the Athletes' Village? Um, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Each athlete um, has got everything that they need here, um, and I could come on with it easily. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Definitely be. something you'd like to uh, you'd like to accompany some athletes to uh, to games yeah. and experience this for That's real. The only problem I have with is I don't think any other nation is going to compete with this. Awesome. <laughs> so there we go. A few tips on a bit of a home advantage there. Last look at the food hall before we go. Who knows where I'll bring our next video blog from next. See you later.